Hi guys, welcome back to Marie's Art Corner. For this episode, I'll be exploring digital art and how compared to traditional drawing. Stay tuned. Coming up next on... Okay, so we'll start off with traditional art. This isn't a comprehensive guide. This is not for experts. Just a beginner artist giving a beginner's analysis. I'm a person that prefers traditional drawing because I'm more used to it. It's more in my comfort zone. The pros of traditional art is that I'm used to it. With the complexity of all the tools in the program, sometimes you just want to pick up a pencil and draw on a piece of paper. And it's easy to practice the fundamentals of drawing. I also like the feeling of the pencil dragging on the page. We'll do a warm up with some cross hatching. and circles. And finally, shading. And having art in art books is just fun to look at. And it's old school. Okay, so for my traditional drawing, I'm gonna be drawing all of us in puppet form. I like drawing in this style. The eyes make it cute. I hate it when the pencil smudges.
These markers are so hard to draw with because of how skinny they are, but I like the brand that makes them. This marker is already finished. I had to use some of my own markers because some of the new ones were dry. By the way, these color sheet nails are fabulous!
The cons of traditional art, though, are that it's messy and the materials are consumable. And good pens like Copic markers are really expensive. Okay, so let's try digital art. Digital art? Yep, that means no more paper and pencil. Who cares? No. You should care, Zero. Yeah, we've used paper for millennia. Now the whole world will forsake the old way. This is a disaster. Okay, maybe you're overreacting. We're all doomed! I'm a person who likes to draw traditionally, but today I'm going to be trying out a drawing tablet. Let's see how it compares. The software I'm going to be using is Medibang because it's free, and I do recommend it for beginners. And the tablet is an Artist XP Pen 15.6 Pro. It comes with a cool pen, pen holder, a glove, an HDMI, and a USB-C wired to connect to my laptop. I have no idea what those extra wires are for. And it comes with a stand. The screen also has anti-glare and anti-scratch. I program my dial wheel to zoom in and out, but you could also program yours to change the brush size or flip through different layers. You can program different functions on each express key to make it easier. I really like digital art, but since I'm so used to traditional, it takes a while to get used to. But once you get a hang of the mechanisms, it's really easy. And for my digital art, I'm going to be drawing my OC. A good tip for beginners is to do every little thing on a separate layer. Being able to add and delete layers is another pro of digital art. It's easy to fix the mistakes. Drawing the folds in clothing is so hard.
Using digital art also gives you more diversity and color range. You don't have to clean the brushes, organize supplies. You can just change your art style. It's awesome. The pros of digital art is that there's more flexibility, higher limits, it's accurate, nothing is permanent, you could always just delete the layers. The cons of digital art is that the learning process with the different programs takes a lot of time and the computer setup. Digital art also costs a lot of money and you need to have a computer to be able to do it. And there's a lot of lag sometimes and it's, the pen isn't really responsive. Oh yeah. I also did digital puppets of us. Hi guys. And in yellow. Hi guys. And zero. Who cares? And me. Hi. Here's all the stuff I've drawn so far. Whether you're using fancy smancy equipment or just a plain pencil, it's all really up to your creativity. You could win the race with a crayon. All you need is what you have. Put time into your craft. Be consistent and have fun. Captain Squad!